I sold her a ticket that night. I only recognized her because we played Foursquare together once. She introduced herself. I don't really remember what was said, but she seemed sweet. I mean, I didn't even know her last name until I read it in the article in the paper. It said that she was a sophomore and a journalism major. Uh, she was from Joliet, and she had a younger sister in high school named Carolyn. <laughs> I don't really know why I remember everything about that article. But her picture, you know, it was in black and white, and it was right under the IDE in suicide. I, I don't know why I'm telling you any of this, but her picture, you know, it was small, but it was not like a school picture, it was more like a candid shot. And she was smiling, yet she looked somehow suspicious. I have this strangely vivid memory of her face. I don't know, but that night she seemed fine. She was smiling and friendly, and I couldn't have done anything different. And I couldn't have known what she was feeling. I mean, but then I didn't ask, did I? I just never knew anyone who died.